Now we'll begin to explore rigid body motion. A rigid body just means something that doesn't change its shape during the process. The kind of motion that it can undergo is translation moving through space and rotation moving about some axis. When we talk about rotation, the main quantity is the angle of rotation, just as when we talk about translation, the main quantity is the distance or the displacement. So we need a good way to specify what angles are. The trigonometric convention is that an angle is measured counterclockwise of the positive x-axis. By the same token, an angle clockwise of the positive x-axis is negative. This is a completely arbitrary convention, but it shows up often enough that it's good to be familiar with it. Also, later on, when we move to three-dimensional cases, we'll find that it's useful to have what's called a right-handed coordinate system, and being used to counterclockwise rotation helps us prepare for that. The most mathematically natural measure of angles turns out to be the radian. The radian is a dimensionless measure. It's actually a pure ratio. It's a direct proportion. As we see an angle, one of the most natural ways to express this is as the ratio of the arc length to the distance from the axis. In other words, the arc length divided by the radius. This would give length units divided by length units, which is, of course, dimensionless. But that distance ratio gives us the measure of the angle in radians. So a radian is essentially the length in radius units of the arc subtended by a particular angle. So what is a radian? One complete revolution has a length of 2 pi r. That's the circumference of a circle. So if we divide that 2 pi r by the length of the radius, which is r, we see that the angle measure of a complete rotation is 2 pi radians. From that, it turns out that one radian is 57.3 degrees, which makes sense. A radian is a little bit less than 1 sixth around a circle. Talking about angles and specifying them in radians has applications beyond simple rotational processes. We'll see as we go on in physics that the math and the concepts that we develop here are going to work very nicely when we talk about periodic processes, anything that repeats in any dimension, time, or even in space. It turns out that the formalism that we'll develop here fits pretty nicely. Every cycle, every 2 pi radians, we're back to where we began, which is the hallmark of a repeating process.